G'day everyone, it is James from James G Adventures and I am currently in Sydney and today I will be taking you on a journey from the beautiful city of Sydney through to Brisbane, another major city in Australia on New South Wales Tramlink service from Sydney to Brisbane overnight. We will be departing Sydney at about 2.40 this afternoon, arriving into Brisbane at around about 3.50 a.m. tomorrow morning in Brisbane time, but be 4.50 in our time due to their one hour difference uh, in daylight savings. Anyway, come along with me and enjoy a journey from Sydney through to Brisbane and check out the beautiful harbour. Anyway, Sydney is one of the most popular cities in Australia, so um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to start off from here at Circle Quay, so I'm going to head down and uh, grab a train to Central Station, and then um, we'll go to the Grand Concourse and um, go and check out what we have today for our train through to Brisbane. Um, should be um, two power cars, obviously, and a five-carriage train, which will take us through to Brisbane overnight. 14 hour journey, uh, have a uh, sleeper cabin, so it's quite nice. So it should be quite a nice journey, part of it's in daylight obviously, up until around Taree in um, northern New South Wales. And then from Taree through to Brisbane, we pretty much in um, darkness, but I will still try my best to shave as much as possible. Anyway guys, I'll see you down at Circle Pay Station. Eh? Anyway guys, we're now walking through what is Central's new concourse area. Looks pretty cool. It is a new upgrade going towards the metro that is opening next year. So basically once you head up this escalator, you get to the regional and intercity platforms. Anyway guys, just walking up to the concourse now. Here is the indicator boards, big huge um, screen with all the services um, to both regional and suburban destinations. There's our train to Brisbane, departing in just under half an hour's time. Anyway guys, we're on the concourse now. Um, our train is on platform five already. You can already tell that we've got XP 2009 on the trail. Uh, go have a look at the leading power car in a second. And here we are guys, with 23 minutes till departure. Um, all the way through to Brisbane, 2.41. Uh, XP 2009 is on the trail. We've also got a V-set departing, V26. Now let's go have a look at our train. We'll have a walk down the train. So I've obviously got the economy cars first, which is car G, car D. Now we've also got car C where the buffet will be located. And this is first class as well by the way. Two first class carriages, car C and car B. And this is the car I'll be in, which is car A. So I'll be in one of these day sitters. Um, 
for the journey and uh, obviously it turns into beds at night, which is pretty cool. Yeah, nice sunny day here at uh, Sydney today. We do have XP 2015 on the lead of this service today. Uh, we're taking us through to Brisbane. Um, so basically this train makes stops uh, first at Strathfield, which is a pickup stop, and it will pick up at Hornsby, Gosford, Wyong, uh, Fassifern, Broadmeadows, uh, will be the first set down station, as well as pick up obviously. And that will continue on to Maitland, Dungog, Gloucester, then Wingham, and then um, Tari and all that kind of stuff, obviously. And continue on through to Coss Harbour and Brisbane. Once again, this is New South Wales streaming XPT service from Sydney Central through to Roma Street, Brisbane. Due to in 10 minutes. Anyway, guys, you will be underway shortly. I will show you the things that come with the sleeper, sure. Approximately five minutes. And there's no locking procedures about to commence, so we ask anyone on board who's not travelling on this service to please kindly leave the train and send me on the yellow line on the platform. It is announced earlier, please ensure that you have a reservation ticket to travel on this service. Anyway, everyone, we're all set up now. Um, just about to leave Central in the next five minutes. We are pretty good off. We got um, panoramic video, um, windows, so quite nice views we can get for the first part of the trip anyway, up until around Tari this evening. So here yeah, we're going to be departing from platform five very shortly. So here's a view of what the seating looks like. It's basically free seats during the day, so yeah, three people can book as a day sitter, but at night time it's a maximum of two people, it's an upper and lower berth, but thankfully I um, did get the cabin to myself for this journey, apparently there was someone originally next to me, but the crew were nice enough to move him to an empty cabin, so that way I can enjoy the cabin to myself which is quite nice so anyway guys um yeah nice little cabin to uh, have to myself for the 14 hour journey through to brisbane so yeah we'll depart shortly and i'll film um parts of the journey up until around taree and then yeah i'll just film some stations and stuff till it gets a little bit later and then we'll get some sleep as well because um, obviously at night time it will get turned into a bed, which is quite good. Yeah, anyway guys, um, see you shortly on the depart to Central. Now also included in the journey in the fair is um, yet Tawtree's bag with um, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, some Tawtree items like body wash, shampoo and all that kind of stuff. And you also get a snack pack with um, some snacks and a little bit of water and stuff like that. And also a towel for a shower later on as there is a shower in the in between the two cabins. So anyway guys, um, it's pretty cool. And you also get breakfast in the morning which is just simple cereal, hot drink and also some juice. So now we'll have a hot chocolate in the morning and some cereal and some juice, apple juice I believe. No, so you get a few things included in the fair which is nice. Anyway guys, um, we'll see what the journey is like and um, just about to pull out of Central.
When I was coming into our first pickup station, which is Stratfield, and that will be followed by Hornsby, Gosford, Wyong, and Fassy Fern, and on to Broadmeadows, which is in Newcastle, and then through to Maitland. And we'll continue on further up north. That first set down station is not till Broadmeadows. Broadmeadows, sorry, not Broadmeadows. Anyway, we're now at Stratfield, our first pickup station. On leaving central. Time is now 2.55. And we're just about to cross the Parramatta River, which is in between Rhodes and Meadowbank. Just passing Rhodes Station now. Just coming into Hornsby, which is our second pickup stop. We've got to heat up a toasted sandwich for you if you're interested. Further into the journey, we'll be serving a meal. We generally take orders just after 5 o'clock. Meal should be served by 6 30. We'll let you know closer to that time what we have available and how to order. Thank you very much and welcome aboard. Anyway, just coming out of Northern Sydney now, we are passing through the regions between Hornsby and Barawa. Um, start getting some spectacular views once we get past Barawa, heading over Hawkesbury River and Wonderbine. Just going through Mount Cola at the moment. Um, Mount Cola. And then we will um, 
once we get closer to the Hawkesbury River region, I'll start filming and we'll get some nice, beautiful views uh, going along the river um, into Gosford and then continue to get some relatively nice views for a little bit. We also got the Hunter Valley to tackle a bit later, which looks quite nice. Um, beautiful scenery along there. Um, anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'll start filming when we get close to Hawkesbury River for you guys. But at the moment, we're just going through the outer suburbs of Sydney. the last station on the city trains network that's Barawa. now we are officially on the new south wales train link network and intercity network intercity trains run as far as dungog so a fair while before we exit the intercity network obviously the electric trains only run as far as newcastle interchange but then you got the uh, little diesel trains on the hunter valley running as far as dungog oscone so anyway guys, um, yeah now we're off the Sydney Trains Network, but uh, yeah, continue on now. And I will give you a good view of uh, Hawkesbury River. It's starting to rain there now, so uh, not the best weather at the moment, but um, yeah. I think we, we can enjoy it from the comfort of the train. Thank you. And 
that is looking down into Hawkesbury River. on the right hand side, the side I'm filming on, um, this is where the old bridge used to be, the original Hawkesbury River Bridge, I'm not sure if it was the first one, but if anyone knows that just let me know in the comments, but I um, might do some research on it and I'll get back to you all about that one, but um, yeah, I'm crossing over this bridge obviously now, but you can see all the pylons for the, for what would have been a old bridge Anyway, we pretty much follow this river now, all the way up towards Gosford and that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool views. It's a bit of a drowsy afternoon here bound, but that's all good, guys. So now just passing through the Wonderbine region. Uh, I go past Wonderbine Station, one of the smallest stations on the network very shortly. Obviously, Zigzag is smaller than it, and uh, Darnick in Outback New South Wales is also significantly smaller than Wonderbine Station, but it is certainly pretty small there in comparison to other stations. Can you see the line goes over there? I'll zoom in a bit. It curves around the river a little bit as we curve around to Woi Woi and Gosford.
And then we're just curving around into Wonderbun. Hard to imagine that this station is an opal station. Um, pretty amazing. Very small population here. So um, yeah, it's quite amazing to see. There is still services running from Wonderbun. And we're now just passing one one station. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna have a little smack snack. Got the Multigang crisp and uh, tomato chutney. Also we've got um, some cookies and just some biscuits. Well it's a packet of mints. That's pretty much um, what we got for snacks included in the fair, as well as breakfast tomorrow morning, which I'll obviously show in the morning. But um, yeah, I'll also show you the toiletry packet later as well, give you a bit more detail on that. But um, we're travelling along quite nicely at the moment, uh, not too far away from Gosford, and then we'll continue further north. It's been a pleasant journey so far, beautiful scenery between Hornsby and Gosford. And we are just arriving into Gosford. Anyway guys, we're now not far out of Broadmeadow. Um, I didn't film for a little while because of the wet weather. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a good view out the window due to that fact. But yeah, and uh, we just went through Katara. Um, yeah, not far from Broadmeadow now. It's the next stop. It's the first set down station as well. Um, then we'll continue on to the Hunter line, on to Maitland, Dungalk, and further north. Anyway guys, been a good trip so far. And yeah, I'll see you at Broadmeadow in a second. And we're now coming into Broadmeadow. So this is our Broadmeadow Yards. Still looking pretty stormy out um, that direction so yeah might have a bit more rain later on the journey as well
any rover I'm just cruising along the Hunter Valley now just went over the Sandgate flyover and um, the next stop will be Mayland very shortly this is one of the fastest sex sections of track that we go along uh, in between Broadmeadow and Maitland. Um, yeah, after this, the journey is quite slow and curvy, uh, a lot of curves and stuff. Uh, yeah, it does take a fair while to get to Brisbane, obviously, but you do get there eventually, so it's always good. Has been quite relaxing actually hearing the rain coming against the train. Not ideal for filming, but it has been quite relaxing um, just chilling out with that. So I always enjoy seeing the countryside, it's always the way. Yeah, looking fairly busy in the Hunter Valley this afternoon, a bit of traffic. Anyway guys, we're now in between Maitland and Dungog. Unfortunately, I didn't feel much um, prior to Maitland due to the rain again. Uh, it did rain a fair bit again, so I couldn't really film what was outside. But now we're getting some nice scenery curving around the region between Maitland and Dungog. Dungog will be our next stop. Still looking very stormy on that way, so let's pick more rain for our journey. Yeah, we've got some beautiful scenery coming through Patterson. We just went through Patterson. Um, yeah, quite beautiful. Um, yeah, scenery does certainly improve after you leave um, Newcastle region. Especially once you leave Mayland, it does improve a fair bit. It's quite nice. Anyway, we're cruising along now. Um, did order a main meal as well because I'm feeling pretty hungry now. Got a uh, nice main meal coming. We'll review that as well once that comes in the next 20 minutes or so. And apart from that, just keep um, taking some footage for you guys throughout the journey. We will pretty much more or less keep filming until it gets dark, and then once it gets dark. I will not film much until we hit Brisbane.
ladies and gentlemen, dinner has been served. I decided to get myself a Moscato wine, along with um, a main meal of um, chicken with rice. To be exact, it is the mango chicken with rice. So yeah, and he comes with a bread roll as well, and I've got myself a Moscato on top of that. It's like a sweet wine, it's pretty nice. Anyway, we'll see how um, nice it is. I'm um, just traveling through the countryside at the same time. Our next stop is Gloucester. I've already been through Dungog now. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, crossing your bridge here. And yeah, I'm just gonna see how this meal is now. And you also do get given a tray table in slip class to put your meal on and consume your meal. And there we go guys, that is our meal that was prepared for us. Here's a pretty small portion, but um, you can always get two meals if you um, need filling up more. But me, myself, I'm pretty happy with just one meal to get me through till tomorrow morning. You can always go and grab a meat pie or sausage roll later on as well. Uh, buffet is open the entire trip pretty much, apart from a short section when the staff change over at the casino and Grafton, I believe. But yeah, no guys, it's the meal there. It's mango chicken with rice and beans. Just gonna devour into that now. And um, yeah, I'm just cruising along through the countryside. That's about all at the moment, guys. I will see you shortly once I'm done. Anyway guys, now my thoughts on the meal, it was quite tasty, I must admit. I actually um, did satisfy my hunger, um, so it was good. Oh, it was quite nice guys, um, as you can see it's starting to get a bit darker outside. Uh, also the wine is quite lovely, the Moscato wine in the glass. Um, so overall the meal and the wine was $19, which is expected to be um, a bit more expensive since I'm getting an alcoholic drink. But you can get a combo with a meal and a standard drink, such as juice or milk drink for $12.50. Anyway guys, beautiful, beautiful scene, we're going to finish off the night. So, uh, Soon we won't see much more of the joint now, lost cluster. Alrighties, ladies and gentlemen, it has been set to the night setting now, which is the bed, obviously. Close all the curtains, pretty much, and then you don't have any light coming in, or very little light, so, yeah. Also, another thing I wanted to show you is you can, um, charge up your devices on this it says shaver only but really you can use um chargers and stuff to charge your phone and all that kind of stuff i obviously got a towel and a toiletries kit for when i go for a shower in a second also up here you got the um places where you can store your luggage or your belongings and you've also got the upper bed if it if um you going with two people or if you're sharing a cabin but yeah no um pretty cool little setup i'm just going to show you the torturies bag now before i head into the shower and then i'll obviously show you what the shower looks like and all that kind of stuff but yeah no, pretty cool i uh, got my bed for tonight it's only about eight o'clock now it's already pitch black so i might as well get some shut eye before i hit um, brisbane so anyway guys, uh, let's show you what we got for our torture kit. Anyway guys, this is our supplies for tonight. So we got a comb, we got a um, little tin thing. We got um, shampoo, shower gel, little shower cap thing. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, which is pretty much enough for just a few servings of toothpaste and earplugs for um, the overnight journey in that. Just in case you're sleeping with someone or if you um, have trouble sleeping with the sound of the train, you can have the earplugs. 
And you just your little toiletry bag and your towel for your rum shower, which I'm just about to use. So anyway, guys, it's a pretty cool little uh, setup. Anyway, let's go have a shower and then I'm going to head to bed. Have an now, hour. welcome to the shower room. Um, you've probably seen it in my previous videos, but basically you just get a little area for shower. You've got a toilet there as well. Dry storage, little compartment to store your little dry items like you want to store your phone or you want to store something that is your variables store that there and you got a couple soap things there and you also got a basin here which so that turns into a basin and you got a shower head there obviously but yeah no guys I'm gonna have a shower now so um yeah we'll go and do that and uh, it's nice that you can have a shower at least it is a pretty small space i must admit like cramming in the uh, toilet and the shower in the same area but still is nice anyway everyone that is now time for bed that was a very good shower nice and warm everything about this trip has been quite good so far staff have been very friendly as well um Anyway guys, I'll see you all in the morning, it's currently 8.30, I just want to get to early night because we'll be woken up at around probably 4 o'clock in New South Wales time for breakfast, then Queensland time, that'll be a bit after 3 I reckon, but yeah, I knock on your door and give you your breakfast about probably 40 minutes before our arrival into Brisbane, but anyway guys, we'll um caught a night here and I'll see you all in the morning. G'day ladies and gentlemen. Now at Maxfield Station, it's about 10.30. I just woke up to have a quick swig of water and go for a Maxfield. So yeah, it's a little update on our journey. Um, we are running a little bit late. We're about half an hour behind at the moment, but hopefully by the time we arrive into Brisbane, we should be close to on time, I'm hoping. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, just currently at Maxville. Get a departing shot for us. And good morning everyone, it is now around about half an hour out of Brisbane and I just got brought my breakfast by a friendly staff member, so I've got a hot chocolate, um, apple juice and corn flakes along with milk for the corn flakes obviously. So yeah, pretty simple breakfast but um, something just to get you through for a little bit, eh? Um, anyway guys, we're gonna enjoy this breakfast now, but um, yeah, about half an hour out of Brisbane, I've just been advised, and yeah, and um, after this breakfast, I'll be getting off the train at Brisbane, and we'll go from there. Customers travelling from New South Wales, please stand by for Queensland do not have daylight savings, and therefore it is 3.53 a.m our due arrival time. We do ask that you take the time prior to our arrival to check around all seats and luggage areas to ensure you have all of your personal belongings. The buffet situated in Carsey is open and serving light refreshments. And once again, we do advise this train is running on time. We are expected to arrive and terminate at Brisbane's Roma Street Station at 3.53am. Thank you. Yeah, obviously it's quite pricey going in the sleeper. But yeah, definitely worth it if you can afford it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely starting to look a lot more like Brisbane now. 
been a pretty good trip as well. Been on time as well, so added bonus. Going through South Brisbane, so we're only a few minutes out of Brisbane. We're actually running a little early, which is good. And we're just about to go over the Brisbane River. Anyway, everyone, welcome to Brisbane. And be aware of the gap between the train and the platform and take care as you leave this service. If you have booked luggage, your luggage will be placed on the platform at the rear of the train. Please make your way to the rear of the train as soon as possible to collect your luggage. On behalf of your New South Wales training crew and drivers, we'd like to thank you for travelling with us. We hope you've had a pleasant journey and will choose to travel with us again. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Brisbane's Roma Street Station, where this train will terminate, is our next station. That's a wrap everyone, now coming into Brisbane Roma Street. I will see give you a, a little exiting view of the train and um, when we are able to get off shortly. And yeah, now we are finally at Roma Street. And there we have it guys, it's XP 2009, which is the trailing, which was the trailing power car, but now will be the leading power car heading out towards Sydney. So yeah guys, pretty cool. We have arrived at Brisbane, big Roma Story station. Um, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Um, Probably flying is the best option to get to Brisbane because of the um, how long the journey does take on the train. But if you want a relaxing way and see some of the scenery along the way and that kind of thing, I would just sleep on this train. Wouldn't recommend first class here economy due to the fact that, you know, being in a seat all night is not all that comfortable. I've done it before, but it's definitely not a comfortable way to go. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in my next video. I'm heading to Cairns and that'll be another big adventure for everyone. Anyway guys, I'll see you up further north.